Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to explore how to configure a DBC dual band modem in a few setup. Let's begin. As usual, enter IP address on browser. Then, enter default username as admin. Password as dbconu101 and fill the CAPTCHA as shown. Then click Login. Follow the page. Enter the old password as entered for login. And enter the new password for the modem and confirm it. Once it is completed, click Apply Changes. Then re-log in to the router dashboard. This page shows the status of the router. Then click Network and 5 GHz. Rename the SSID as you need here. I enter as BSNL Fiber 5G. Then click Apply Changes. Click OK on the saved setting. To set the Wi-Fi password, click WLAN Security and change the pre-shared key as I shown. Once completed, click Apply Changes. Next, to configure 2.4 GHz, select 2.4 GHz and change SSID as you want here, I change it to BSNL Fiber FTTH, and then click Apply Changes. Click OK on the saved setting, similar to 2.4 GHz, change it for 5 GHz, click LAN Security and change pre-shared key to set password. Once it done, click Apply Changes. Then, click Network on Menu and select NAT Config. Then delete existing setup. Follows that create a new connection, connection as Add New, Mode as Root, and select IP version as IPv4 from the drop-down, then select PPoE, and enable VLAN and VLAN ID as 130, enter an MTU as 1425, and enter username. password and service name as given by BSNL service provider. Finally, enable binding port as all of them. And click apply. Now the internet connection has been done. 
For VoIP, select Add New Connection on the connection name and mode as Root, IP version as IPv4 and enable DHCP as Get Access via ISP. Then enable VLAN and enter VLAN ID as 1849. Select Service Mode as VoIP, and click Apply. Finally, it created. Next, click Application on the menu Select Advance NAT. Enable SIP, then click the Save Slash Apply button. Then select VoIP, Server Type as IMS SIP and enter the primary SIP register address, primary SIP proxy, and enter an outbound proxy address. SIP domain as shown. Finally, enable the Line 1 account, enter username and account as your phone number including with country code, and password as FTTH at your last four digit numbers. Click Apply Changes. Next, select Management and Device Manager, click Commit and Reboot to reset your device. Generally, we don't need to reboot the device. Once it is done, we get our data and voice services. That's it. Thank you for watching.